Welcome to another Fountain Pen Day review. Today's review is going to be the new Twisby Micarta version 2. So you know it gets shipped in bubble wrap from Philip Wang. And inside is a book. Neat packaging. Thought that was pretty uh, pretty ingenious to do. Um, they actually, and you'll see, they cut the, uh, if I can get it open, sorry. They actually cut the book so that the um, pen would fit inside and you could use their new notebooks, which they released recently also, uh, for a journal, which is what this is. It's a journal strap, there's reviews of it, it's got a nice imprint for Twisby here. And inside, you can see you've got pages, it's done in graph. I didn't count how many there were, but in any case, inside is your pen. And this would be the new, get that contrast out of there, Twisby Micarta version 2. I didn't have the version 1, um, so I don't know all the differences. I mean, there's really only two. I did get the clipless version. Sorry. Um, but I do know that they changed uh, the the uh, the nib. It's now a JWAV nib as opposed to the Bach nib that they used before. And the uh, cap itself now has an inner liner to help stop some of the uh, drying out of the nib that people had complained about. And this one I've already tested. I just repackaged it so everyone could see you know, what was going on and how you would get it. But this one you will you will see when we test it. It's not dry at all. Uh, it writes really well. Really nice. Alright, and I'll show you the only thing I could find wrong with this pen. It really doesn't matter. I'm going to pause for a second because I forgot to turn the other light on. Hold on. And we're back. The only thing I could find wrong is that the logo was imprinted just slightly off. Does it really matter? Honestly, it doesn't. If it mattered to you, I mean, I can assure you, and I'll say this without hesitation, if you sent an email to Philip Wang, I'm sure he would send you a new cap with one that is perfectly centered right away. Uh, I did ask around uh, on, on Fountain Pen Network, on Fountain Pen Geeks, that, uh, you know, did anyone else's come like that? And most people said some of them were off a little bit, but in general they were well centered. Mine was off a little more than uh, than they have seen those that answered. So, anyways, that's it. Let's get through that little tiny flaw. I don't know how he did it exactly. It's not burned in. It's it's um, almost like it's just colored in when they stamped it on there. But it's on there. It doesn't want to rub off or anything like that. So very nice. Uh, the Clippus version is going to be, is, is stamped uh, number 803. The Clip version is 805. Let me get this to stop for a second. There we go. Alright, so 803. It's marked down here in Japanese characters. I'm not sure. Japanese, Chinese, I'm not sure. But on this side is the familiar Twisby. My card is very nice, really interesting. It's got an odor. It, it, it already faded after having it out for a day, uh, for the most part. But neat material. Inside, you can see the fuzz. Um, that, a lot of people have said with their version 1s, dissipated after a while from uh, putting the cap on and off. And inside, you can see that new liner. And that helps keep the nib uh, wet and keep it from drying out. So that's the cap. And you can see there's more fuzzies here. And that's just, again, that's the material itself in my card. When you screw it down, nice positive stop. How many turns to take it off? A couple people said something about that. So here we go. It's one, two, and a half. Maybe two and a quarter. Two and a half, two and a quarter turns to take it off. And none of that ever bothers me. So The nib... Again, I said this is now a, a JWoww nib as opposed to the Bach nib that they used before. It's nice gold-plated gold steel, 
this one's abroad. Uh, it's got the Twisby logo and name on it. It's also stamped uh, at the base that it, right down here, that it is in fact abroad. Give me a nice good close up of it. It's a good fit, finish on this, really nice. It has a very good feel to it, very unique because of the material. The nib just uh, is a standard pull-out, comes right out the uh, inside. It does fit a very specific way. You can see that rail right there at the bottom, and that rail slides into this nib here. So the nib stops exactly where it should, or I'm sorry, the feed, and the feed stops where it should. Um, the nib can slide. It doesn't have a positive stop, so you can see you can go beyond. You, can, you could get it to uh, sit further back, I guess, if you wanted more flex to it. But when you put it in, because the, the feed does go in just one way, so you want to be you know, careful when you do it, You'll, you can feel which way it goes. Um, line the shoulders up like you normally would with any pen that uh, doesn't have a positive stop on the feed itself, locking that nib in. But when you push in, you'll feel the nib stop, and you can simply take the shoulders and push, and it lines up. The, um, the back section in here actually is stopping this nib from going beyond where it should so it's nice it, it while it doesn't the nib doesn't lock into the feed it does um, still have a, a way that it stops right where it should so you don't have to worry about it lining up later on um, give you a better shot of the finish again and it's really neat very uh, very unique the end Sticks out slightly, just so much. It's not a completely flat, flat surface, but it's nice. It's smooth. Um, and I did notice that some people had mentioned that the caps and the pens didn't match on version one. Sometimes, and that's just a natural occurrence. Mine matched uh, exactly. Okay. Uh, it has a standard converter, and again, you can see the fuzzies in here. And that's because it's new. Again, a lot of people have said that they, it wears away. Uh, it comes straight out. It's a shot inside. And it's got a nice positive feel to it. Once you line it up, it just seats right in there and it stays nice. Um, I like the converter. Why? Because this is another one that going counterclockwise, so turning this direction, you can take it apart. It's a couple of turns, this slides off, this comes out, and you can, again, you can disassemble and uh, lubricate the converter if you want, sorry. <laughs> I was trying to see what I was doing and I paused. Um, it's very easy to put back together. It has the uh, knob, uh, what was I trying to say? <laughs> it's got these little um, knobs right here that uh, line up on your converter right here on both sides so when you put it back together you slide those in I mean it's very straightforward there's only one way to do it this one goes in larger side over because it won't fit the other way a couple of turns fasten it down and you can clean this out hermetically if you want and re-lube it and again it's great because it's like I said this whole pen comes apart the nib feed come right out, and it's uh, excellent to be cleaned. Inside here, there's also a, uh, um, that's the cap. <laughs> Inside here, there's not a plastic insert. Uh, it's just the raw material that's been bored out. And really nice, really unique material, and it writes very well. So, we will get to that next. Put this back together, we're going to ink it up, and we'll do a writing sample. I'll, uh, I might as well use the Twisby notebook to test it. We'll be right back. We'll weigh it out. I'll give you a quick comparison also. And we're back. Okay. Before I ink it, we'll, uh, we'll weigh this out. Again, this is in grams, so that everyone knows. Uh, having a clip will make it a little more wobbly. 24, 24.6. For the whole pen, converter and all, cap 7.5, pen.
10, 17. Um, hey, you can actually see some of the, uh, my card, I guess it's from the uh, threads. I'm just coming off, I can see now that that'll wear off. Um, for size comparison, I'll give you this quick. Here's a Twisby 580. Pretty close. Uh, Mont Blanc 146. Another one that's comparable. And Visconti Homo sapiens, which is just a little bit longer, but it is comparable as far as size goes, you know, in, in as far as girth and stuff like that. That gives you a pretty good idea of where you stand with this pen, size-wise. All right, we are going to uh, ink this up and get to the writing sample. I've used this before, but it's so appropriate for this pen. Um, we're going to use the Ackerman's Becca Cags, which is their brown. Um, <clears throat> again, being a standard converter, it's straightforward. Uh, I also found that the micarta wipes off uh, easily as well, which is which is nice. And of course, when you use Ackerman's ink with the bottle design, which you just saw, it's completely empty. So you turn it upside down, you fill your reservoir, and then when you open it up, there's... Oh, look, there's ink in there this time. Hmm. All right. So, converter down, pen in, converter up, and I'm not going to go for a perfect fill. If you just go down and up again, you'll get a good fill with this. It'll, it'll fill almost the entire converter easily. Nice converter. All right. Let's get going. Just want to wipe this down. The um, new nib that they have from JWoww also, just for those who want to know, is a size 6. And it is interchangeable. The Goulets make a uh, size 6 nib. So if you wanted a stub version, uh, one, you know, 1.1, 1.2. .1, Five, I think. I forgot what it is, but you can look. They have two-tone nibs. You can change it out. As well, at the end, um, for those who actually want to stick around a minute, I'm going to stop and I'm going to replace it, which I haven't done yet, so I don't know how it's going to work out. I have tried to make sure, I made sure that it fit, but this is the uh, Delta Fusion nib. So at the very end, I'm going to say goodbye, but then I'll come back for a moment after I've swapped it out and show you how that works. Because again, it's a size six nib, and I have it. I'm gonna wobble for a moment. Um, I'm gonna have to hold the camera so that I can get the uh, view on the notebook. But we'll get you down close. I'm just gonna uh, take one second here because I want to make sure I get my focus locked. So we don't go out of focus. And again, this is the uh, this is the broad nib. And it starts up right away, and it is wet. It is the last thing this pen is is dry, and you can see that. And again, you know this is under hot lights, and you can see how nice that comes right across. There is I've had no skipping at all, but it is wet. Nice paper, too. I haven't used this. But even under the hot lights, with the drying, you can see that that uh, goes. But, up top, like this one normal line, just it just it dried out well. Um, no skipping at all. Nice. Very, very smooth. I'm not trying to flex this or anything. Just, just writing um, normal. It flows well. sloppy, but you get the point. Um, but it does have a little give. I mean, you have to... You know, I'm pressing more than I want to, but it will give you a slight bit. Um, you know, usually I'll put this under my signature. I've shown this before. And you can see you can definitely get a little line variation, but that's really not what it's, you know, intended for. Um, but again, it, it's there. If, if you want it. Sorry. So, 
There is some. Very nice pen. Great feel. This uh, the section here is uh, really nice. Definitely uh, I don't lock on. The section here has a good feel to it. You know, for someone with larger hands, it's good. Um, and it's got it's not a tactical feel, and I don't know that it would it, it's going to stay that way. But the, the feel of the micarta is really nice. It's got a very I don't know should I say organic, but it does have almost an organic feel to it. Very nice, and and the nib super smooth, super wet, no issues with the flow at all. You know, no matter I can't write really fast, but you can see that that's just me going fast. It didn't skip at all. I'm using very little pressure. So all in all, wonderful pen, well worth the price of admission, I think, and. At this time, I'm going to say thank you for watching. Remind everyone that Fountain Pen Day is November 1st this year. Um, and for those that want to hang on, I'm going to go away for a second, and I'm going to come right back. And again, I'm going to put that. Uh, I'm going to drop this Delta nib in, and we will see just how it'll do. If you're not interested, you can end it here. And again, you do one last shot of that nib. Really nice, great pen. Uh, oh, one last thing. I used it unposted. You can post this pen. It, it's got a great feel to it. Um, and it's not because the, the cap is very light, it's not top heavy or anything like that. I'm just used to uh, writing with so many of my pens unposted. So, But you can definitely post this and it won't go anywhere. All right, we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. I'll give, you two, I'll give myself two minutes so that I don't bore everyone to death. But here is the JWoww nib from the Twisby that I pulled out. And now we have a Delta Fusion nib set up in there. Go to a fresh page and let's see how a stub does in this pen. Just give me one second. Now, of course, this being, I think, a $125 nib, um, most people aren't going to go for that. But it will give you an idea of what a stub nib, say, from the Goulet's will get you. Um, at, I think they're $15. And again, any pressure but you can see the natural line variation you can get the feed works great um, in this nib so far let's see if we can have it laid out some ink you can also see a lot more uh, if it's picking it up you can see a lot more of the shading from this that was me certainly gives you a lot more um, but again this is just for people that wanted to see what a stub would be like um, because a lot of people you know for an every everyday writing uh, the broad nib or fine nib whichever you choose you know is going to be much better but if you're writing letters or, or, or whatever it may be this is certainly it's certainly nice to know that you know you can just swap this nib out that quickly and that easily and get that much more line variation expression however you want running out of paper nice notebook too again I really uh, I, it's nice this paper's holding up really really well and uh, I think I think Twisby did a really great job. I'm very, very happy with this. It's a fun pen. The thread on there, that's why that's doing that. I just realized it. I'm sorry. So, that's about all she wrote. Interesting concept. Again, it's just, if you want to swap these nibs out, super easy on this pen. Super serviceable pen. Very durable. 
I mean, and, and a clipless version is great, I think. I asked for people's opinions on what they liked and what they thought the pen should be. And be, being the material that it's made out of, you know, it makes me want to just take it and stick it in my jeans and pocket and see how it does. So that's our review. Again, I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope it's useful and uh, highly recommended pen. Great. Another one. Another one. That's two in a row. The 580 I thought was tremendous. And I absolutely love this Mercado. Micarta. <laughs> Have a great found pen day, everyone. Thank you.